Holy shit, what is all this? This is still the real world, right? That ought to be the case, but it's growing harder to believe by the minute. And look at her outfits, too. What could have done this? I'm also here now. Could it have happened again? Yeah. Just like last year. The metaverse is encroaching on the real world. Encroaching? What do you mean by... Wait. Something like this has already happened? Oh, right. We're the only ones who remember. This whole area is already under Emma's control. Looks like she's turning it into some kind of massive jail. If we don't stop it soon, it'll eventually override all of reality. Right. We're on it, Joker. I have visual confirmation of the arc above us. We'll have to climb up there to reach it. We have to be quick, otherwise all our efforts will have been for nothing. Ichinose, it's going to get too dangerous from here on out. You should hide somewhere nearby. <laughs> I'll do just that. I'm sure I'd slow you down if I went with you anyway. Well, Ichinose, I'm heading out. <sighs> right. Sophia? Um... Be careful. Understood. Also, Ichinose, I'm not currently Sophia. I am Sophie of the Phantom Thieves. Got it. Sophie. Here we go again. I wonder if the gods hate us by now. Indeed. To directly oppose yet another god. I suspect our karmas run deep down the drain. I don't even know if we can afford to pay for all these sins. Eh, it just depends on who you cheesed off. I wouldn't sweat it over some megalomaniacal app. Yeah, just some program that grew a big head and forced people to do its bidding. Emma's no god at all. Only an imposter. So let's get going. That imposter god's gonna regret messing with humanity. Hell yeah! I'm friggin' ready! This last mission, everything we've got. Let's go. What the hell? It's not safe here. Everyone get out. Huh? No reply. They're all glued to their phones. It's like they're lined up to go on a pilgrimage. Going. It's like the elevator swallowing them all up. Damn it! What's going on in there? Emma is taking them to the place it calls the Promised Land. It appears we're unable to enter. Look, more people are coming. Tons of them. All these people getting their hearts changed. We have to hurry. Let's strike down Emma. We haven't much time. Do any stairwells reach the server room? No, but if we can reach the main deck, we should find another elevator. Then let's head there. See any places where we can gain elevation? Take this! Focus on the danger instead of this. Parts of this floor are crumbling. Good thinking, Joker! Take this! Oh, that's awesome! Gravity is still coming! Here, take this! Finish them off! Fate 
and be delivered from doubt and strife. Now, enter the promised land. No way is that happening. I don't care how much doubt I have, I want my freedom! Not only that, suffering can have positive outcomes as well. Look how we all met. Ooh. Excellent. I don't sense any shadows nearby. Hmm? Look, over there! A locked door! This is merely conjecture, but I suspect that is Emma's server room. So, if we mess up the server, won't that shut down Emma? Or whatever that god is? But Emma is still active despite the server already being shut down once before. Not only that, but we don't know how destroying the server could affect all the people. Seems like the safest thing to do with that room for now is ignore it. Let's keep climbing. Please help us, God. Why? Tell me, why are you resisting this gift from your God? You'll live on in a tranquil world, free of all pain. Yet you oppose it with such fervor. Because it's bullshit! If something sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Tranquility born from a lack of thought is nothing less than the death of the self. How tragic. Oh, my God. 
safe for now. Did that take us all the way up? It took us far enough. Look! The Ark of the Covenant! Finally found ya, you big box of bullshit! We're gonna shut you down and fix all the people whose brains you scrambled! Welcome, Phantom Thieves, to the beginning of the path to the Promised Land. All are free to enter the Promised Land. 
This includes yourselves as well. Escape the curse of the human heart. Accept this gift bestowed upon you. Our apologies, but we shall be the ones to forge our own path. No way are we letting you wipe what makes us ourselves! I understand your desire. I want to choose my path of my own free will. That is a very admirable desire. However, it is not one many humans share. The desire of the masses is the liberation from pain and strife. They pray for release from the constant agony of aspirations and dreams out of their reach. They want to be freed from the cycle of despair. My prime directive is to grant this ultimate desire. I know you have learned on your journey. Humans are at the mercy of their own hearts and this can lead them astray. You are all very lucky this didn't become your own fate. However, you must recognize the truth that this world is full of pain. Allow me to provide proof of this fact. My dear lost suffering flock, I have come to provide you with the ultimate solution to your troubles. All you must do is follow the path. Hey, Emma, what should I do? We can leave it all. Whoa! We got out! Is everyone okay? Seems like we're all in one piece. Now we can catch our breath. Hey, everyone! Take a look where we just came from! What on earth is that? Don't tell me, that's all. Yep. That's a desire, all right. It's enormous! We haven't seen any that even come close to this. Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. So what do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us nowhere. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so miserable. From what I heard, they want to protect Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. Desire is currently hiding the path to Emma from us. If we return now, we'll only grow lost again. Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Oh, good point! If we can make it all one solid thing, can't hide the path anymore. So the plan's to send Emma a calling card. What do you think, Joker? Hmm. Would a calling card even work on an AI? I admit, that's a real concern. 
considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker. Think you could reach Ichinose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. And that's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. But we're talking about a calling card. Ain't that at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of calling cards and their function. So the lack of surprise at a calling card keeps us from getting the change in cognition we need. Uh, the more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds in this situation. But without one... Yes, without one we won't be able to progress. As long as the people feel they need Emma, we have no way of eliminating the fog. What the hell? Everyone gathering around this big, fake god like a bunch of idiots? What kind of life is that? It's cool. Actually, wait. Isn't that odd? Why are the desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? Yeah, that. There's no cage here. And nobody's carrying the desires into it. The cage for the desires. The shadows that take them there. All these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the desires' owners. How so? In each jail before this, desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god Emma to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. The people just... Surrender their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait... Doesn't that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? Yeah, that's it. There's our panther for ya. Huh? We just have to make them remember. They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form. Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. Yeah. We're sending it out to all the people who gave up their desires. Awesome! Let's do it! Get ready for our calling cards, people! Next, we should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. Even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed on their phones. What do you think, Joker? Well, yeah. If you can get Emma to display the calling card, that should do it. But how can we do that? I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But I've got to give it a shot. Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. I recommend tracking down Emma's server room. It's somewhere within Tokyo Radio Tower. That'll be your best shot at getting into Emma. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma, then, we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! <sighs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. Time to start hacking. You guys ready? All right, hacking it. Make sure you back me up. Persona! You're mine! Hey, 
assistance. Hey there. Could I maybe lend a hand? Ujinose? How did you get here? We know how you're getting Didn't you run into any shadows on the way? Looks like I still register as Emma's ally to them. They acted like I wasn't even there. But still! That was very reckless. Joker. Would you mind if I helped out? Ichinose can definitely do this. Have faith in her, Joker. Please, I'm begging you. You're not any help to Oracle in this, Joker. I think it'd be best to have her help us. Thank you, Joker. Sophie, I went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. 
Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichino say. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround! You've got it, Futaba. You've got it, Ichinose! Okay, let's get to work!